Hello traders, welcome to the 8th module of the advanced technical analysis course where we are going to put everything that we have learned together and in this lesson we're going to start with a simple system where we are going to use an oscillator and price action to day trade. Now when we, when we are trying to build our system you should start focusing on one indicator at a time. As you may know, my charts have a lot of indicators in them and every single one of those indicators has a purpose on my chart. But when you're starting out, you don't want to clog your charts with lots of indicators and sometimes uh, beginner traders will clog them with a lot of indicators that actually show you the same things. So in this case, we are just going to use one oscillator, the oscillator of your choice and the pure price action to day trade. And the easiest way to do this is to plug an oscillator on your charts and trade extreme levels, okay? Just by using extreme readings on the oscillator and price action, you can start profiting from the financial markets. And this, is, this very simple system works on any time frame, but you need to understand a couple of things before we go forward. The first thing is, the higher you go, the longer you will have to hold your trade. This means that the higher time frame you use to analyze price action on and to trade off the longer you will have to hold your trades. It's not the same to trade the 50 minute chart at extreme level on the 50 minute chart than an extreme level on the 4 hour or daily chart. The lower you go the more setups you will get daily. This means that uh, if you're trading the 5 minute chart or the 50 minute chart for example you will get a lot more setups uh, using just extreme levels and price action than if you are trading the 4 hour chart for example. And of course there's something very important here. The lower you go the more fake setups you will experience because uh, on the lower time frames you will get a lot of market noise and uh, you might get caught in uh, some noise that is not an extreme level and uh, you will get stopped out more often. So psychologically speaking if you don't like to get stopped out a lot you shouldn't trade the one minute or the five minute chart but uh, if you are not comfortable holding your trade for hours at a time you should not be trading the hourly or the four hour chart so in this lesson we will focus on the 50 minute chart for day trades and we are and we'll be looking to get 50 to 60 pips out of every trade we are also going to look for at least a one to two risk to reward ratio and you need to trade during high volume hours and trade instruments that are volatile enough. This means that you should be trading Forex during the London and New York sessions or if you are trading stocks you should definitely trade them during the New York session. And if you live in Australia or in Asia it's alright to, to trade Forex during the Australian session but you need to focus on the Asian pairs. Now, right now we're going to go right into the MT4 platform so we can look at these uh, setups and how we are going to trade this little system. Okay, we are back and uh, as you can see here we have the Euro Japanese Yen chart on the 15 minute time frame and we have plugged a stochastic oscillator with the default 1433 uh, level. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to the hourly chart, okay? When you go to the hourly chart, you are going just you are going to draw uh, your overall levels of support and resistance, okay? And uh, let's let's uh, let's use red as uh, resistance and blue as support, okay? Now we have uh, another level of resistance right here and. Uh, we have a level of support right here which we are going to change to blue. Now these are, our, these are the overall levels on the hourly chart. Remember that we are going to be trading the 50 minute chart. So let's say that these are the levels that we are looking at and uh, we are going to go back to the 50 minute chart and we are going to start looking at price action right about here. Okay. So, the first thing you can notice is this uh, area of resistance that has been tested once, 
and this area of resistance that was tested as support right here and we went all the way back up okay so we are trapped in a very small 12 to 13 pip range which is untradeable at the moment i mean uh, to trade a, a, a 13 pip range it's really not profitable because you will never get the top and the bottom and you will be fighting with the markets to get out of uh, of it about eight pips so it's not that profitable but if you notice right here we have a uh, just let me change the color of this um, rectangle if you see right here we have a, a very distinct uh, dodgy that signals a real rejection to this 137.358 resistance zone. When we get this uh, distinct candlestick, you can also see that the stochastic oscillator is almost at an extreme level and has made a uh, crossover. We actually can go short right here at this uh, at this uh, rejection candle. But the thing about going short right here is that we are shy uh, 80 pips from a very strong support level. So what we need to do is wait for this level to break and for the stochastic oscillator to go beyond 50 so we can actually trade this on the short side and we can take profit right here for a 30 pip win. So right here we have a 30 pip win just using uh, extreme levels on the stochastic oscillator and price action. Okay, we have the first win here at 30 with uh, 30 pips, and then we have a choppy, uh, a very choppy price action to the downside, which is also untradeable. Um, in my point of view, uh, because if you see the stochastic oscillator at the extreme levels, is it's remaining oversold even though price action is going to the downside. So we are in a very strong down move and we need to wait for price to break to the upside. Now, he, this is a support level also that, that was broken and now we have gone and uh, cross and uh, gone above it right here but we are not going to trade this we are going to try and wait for price to test back these lows or test back this area of support as resistance remember that when you are trading extreme levels with an oscillator you also want price to retest back levels that ha it has broken uh, previously so our area or the area that we are looking at it's this area of uh, previous support and we want price to test it as resistance and uh, we get here a test of this area but the oscillator is not at an extreme level the oscillator comes above the 80 level right here and as you can see here we have uh, what I call a fake out we have a blue candle that opens above, uh, below the area of resistance, closes above, but then an immediate red candle that comes all the way down below the area of uh, resistance. This is a fake out. And now we can go short right here with uh, a 10 pip stop is fine in this case because we are aiming for this area of support. And... Uh, if we are aiming for this area of support, uh, we will want to put our targets ar around uh, 3 to 4 pips above the actual area because we, we want our targets to get hit. So our targets should be around here and uh, our entry here. So it's uh, 26 pips win for a 10 pip risk on another trade. On another profitable trade so right now we uh, on the same day we already have 56 pips in the bag and uh, right now we can uh, I mean we continue price action I mean we do have some overbought overbought levels right here but uh, truthfully 
we are in the middle of this range so it is not it is not very uh, logical for us to go long or short in this case and uh, if you truly are following price action you can see that we have some kind of a uh, head and shoulders right here with this high this high and this next high and uh, when the br neckline breaks you get a calculated target of uh, 20 pips which is exactly the low right here so you have to follow price action not only with the extreme levels and uh, retests of uh, previous supports as resistance but if you notice some uh, uh, chart patterns forming you should definitely trade them and uh, right here is a good example of how to trade uh, a, a nice uh, extreme level with the stochastic oscillator uh, you can see right here that price action is around this area of resistance and uh, we did have a, had a push to the upside but uh, the push to the upside gave us an extreme reading and uh, I would really wouldn't really recommend to go short right here because we we, we really need uh, this trend line that was holding on the short term to be broken this trend line and also this area of uh, resistance to break to the downside so the actual the actual entry is right here why do we know that we are going to go short we we know that we are going to go short or we are going to look for short opportunities because our extreme level is above 80 okay and when we come back and when we come down and break with this immediate ascending trend line and this previous area of resistance we can go short and of course target again the same area for a 30 pip win so by uh, staying patient and following extreme levels and following extreme levels and price action and pure price action we have made 86 pips on one day